Hey guys, it's Quirk Serial back in the Ember Knights video. In this video, I'm going to be using the Nexal Staff with this poison build, Impressive Mind, Diligent Work, Gilded Remains, and Toxic Bangle, along with the weapon mods of 231, which is Storm, Luminescence, and Auto Orbs. And I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video by playing on a higher difficulty, like Expert, with these modifiers. Uh, enemy move speed 200%, enemy attack speed 135%, and enemy count 300%. So those are the difficulty modifiers that I'm using. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. It's going to be a little weird, because once again, I just don't play on harder difficulties, because I just speedrun uh, default. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. Plus the 300% enemies, that's going to be really annoying. Actually, as long as I have enough damage, it should be fine. Okay, as long as it's not the super speedy one, and of course, we got the one that zooms. Okay, it didn't really matter, we just clutched up anyways, but I really thought that very hit hard there. Okay. Do we want Rage of Glove? Rage of Glove could go good. Or go crazy. But I think I rerolled him. Yep, that's big. This is really big. Guess we also grab that. See how free that is? It's cleared out the shop. Uh, mostly doing that because I want the war crack to scale, like the boost to scale, which I don't know if it does because, wow, he slammed that. Holy.
Oh, health, a little bit of skill damage. Uh, probably move speed. Move speed or damage. Yeah, move speed. Storm armor for this. Wow. That was like 50% of the HP in one Arcane Bolts uh, hit for skill use. Alright, you know, you know what to do on a Mimicking. You uh, absolutely ignore the chest shuffle and hit him, wake him up. A little mini game inside of them. I think it's apple crisp, I don't know. It's some apple treat. Let's go. One cycled second boss. It's big. I don't know why I'm breaking open all those vases. 
So, like, I need more gold. I'm tempted to go precision here. I also kind of think it's a uh, move speed. Yeah, whatever. Taking move speed. Gold for this shop room. Nice. Our fourth Hawk Spangle. That completes the build. Nice. Uh, I think we take Knight's Charge. Uh -oh. I just reroll. 150. We take the Empowered Spangle. And then, uh, I think we just leave it at that. Yeah. That really sucked. Damn. Oh god, we also got the worst mini boss. Bro, I can't dodge all of that. Yeah, that was a little scary. They were just chasing me around in circles. Alright, so. I'm thinking this is A3 boss here? Yes, it is. Okay. The plan is to use Arcane Bolts, or, sorry, Knight's Charge into them so I can get close, and then Arcane Bolts. That's the goal, or the plan at least. One, two, three. Let me do these. Let me do one more. Nice. There you go. A three boss cleared.
Yep, more damage. Thinking more damage. I really think more damage. 46 damage. That's a lot of damage. Too bad we actually got hit by one of the waves. Alright, we roll this. Sure, we'll take the overcharge gauntlet. Um, yeah, I guess we take this. I might as well take that. This might be boss room though, yeah, okay. We have both skills, so with that being said, we just heal up here. Alright, once again, goal, Knight's Charge, Arcane Bolts. That's it. Now let the poison do its work. Alright. Here we go. Nice. We did take some damage there, and I don't know if it would have been faster to just uh, use the attacks and chunk them down, or using the skills were actually better. But it doesn't matter because we just won. We beat the run on expert difficulty, which I don't know if I've beat the game on expert difficulty yet. Wow, we have a lot of damage. Holy crap. 
55 damage. That's incredibly high. Especially for a staff build. Like, damn. Alright. End of the match stats. Let's see. What do we got? 946 enemies killed. 235,000 damage dealt. Okay, yeah, yeah. We've taken s roughly 600 damage. That's a lot. <laughs> also getting 2,000 ember, which is whatever. I don't really utilize ember. Our build was mainly poison. As you can see from the relics that we have. And from the build that we started with. We just kind of leveled it up. Getting Plague Bomb really helped out, obviously. And then we got Arcane Bolts and Night's Charge, which, in my opinion, are the two best skills. And finding Overcharge Gauntlet with Spell in a Bottle to quickly recharge our skills. And having Magic Tome level 3 that does 200% of our damage to the surrounding area around us when we refresh the skill. That was a really big combo that we had. And yeah, that looks to be about it from the good combos of relics that we had. Overall, this run was pretty fun. It was uh, a little slow at the beginning, but it caught back up once we started getting the full build, the full poison build. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, just subscribe so you never miss anything else. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.